Hi everyone, my name is Katie Lyon, I'm one of the speech pathologists at Spectronics and today I just want to show you some of the great new features of Clicker 6, some of my favourite things if you wish. Um, so I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the program and um, talk about some of the favourite things that um, I've found with the new program. So I guess number one is this quick start screen which is new to Clicker 6 and I find it uh, a lot clearer. So you can see here that with the quick start screen this gives the student a lot more independence in terms of accessing uh, new new activities um, and they don't have to rely so much on their person who's supporting them or the teacher to actually get into the activities and get started um, in developing their own activities. All of these menus are obviously switch accessible so even for students who don't access the keyboard directly or the mouse directly they can access uh, this quick start screen. You'll see that you can also click flick to this tab here which is your files tab and we'll go into that a little bit more detail but um, that is where all of your folders and all of your clicker activities are stored. Let's go back to the quick start screen here and here, from here you can either start writing in your clicker document, you can make a book, you can view your favourite activities and you can save, obviously save your favourite activities as favourites that show up in this menu or you can go back to some recent files that you've been working on. One of the other favourite things of Clicker 6 is Net, you can now use click and edit books. Um, so I'm going to, this is using full screen grids, so I'm going to go in and show you how you um, can easily and quickly populate a, uh, an on-screen talking book. Let's go into landscape, I'll just make my screen a little bit bigger for you. And I no longer have to click on shift and click into these boxes. I just click directly into these boxes and because I'm using one of the templates that's um, in Clicker 6, I can, if it's a text box, it automatically brings up a cursor for me to start typing. And if it's a picture box, you'll see that when I click on it, it takes me straight into um, the options with how I can insert pictures. So what you'll also notice, and this is another of my favourite things with Clicker 6, is that you can choose to insert a picture and the uh, picture library has been increased to include a lot more pictures and a lot more vocabulary. Um, you can also choose to insert a photo. So you can imagine a lot of um, people that we work with who really need photos to be able to make sense of, of what they're reading and to be able to motivate them um, to be interested in the book. So um, for example, um, I can go and take a photo of me and put it into my book or I can click on this paint a picture and you'll notice that when I click on paint a picture it takes me straight into Clicker Paint. So one thing that I will say about Clicker 6 is that it does include Clicker Paint. It's a package of Clicker 6 and Clicker Paint all together. Um, they're no longer separate programs. So it's fabulous in terms of being able to create your own artwork. For example, I'm just doing a picture of my new house. Um, let's go into here. of my new house. I'll go back, draw my little red roof. Windows, looks a bit like a face. And then when I finish doing the picture that I've drawn myself, I can just click on this create and it takes it straight into my talking book. So I really like the click and edit books. I think it gives the student a lot more independence in terms of um, being able to write their, write their activities independently. Okay, um, I'll go back to my quick start screen which is I access by just clicking on this clicker explorer and just show you a couple of the other um, of my favourite things. If I go into make a clicker set, 
you can see that I can also access all of the templates that I used to be able to access with Clicker 5. Uh, they're all there. However, there are now these wizards and these save you so much time in terms of programming. Um, so now that you can, now you can really uh, focus on the content of the activity rather than some of that advanced programming and how do I do that and it's, some of it can be really time consuming, let's face it. So now, for example, there's, there's a lot of wizards for um, clicker writer documents and there's a lot of wizards for the full page documents. Um, so the full packet of grids, I should say. Let's go into, just to show you an example of how that might work, I'll go into WordBank. Now I can just type or paste my text here. So if I've got some text from a website, for example, or a document elsewhere on my computer, I can go and click and copy that. And I can paste it into there. And now you'll see that I've got a few other options here. I can choose to filter out the most common words. If the person that I'm working with, uh, you know, may only need support at that level, a lot of the settings within Clicker Six obviously can uh, change the complexity of the activity, make it more simple, give more support to students who need it, or give less support. I've chosen to filter out the 32 most common English words because the person. Uh, making this work for is, um, is uh, with some of the smaller words but needs some uh, support with some of the more complex words. I can choose to have that in an alphabetic grid with tabs as you can see here or I can choose to have it with one grid only. Then I, uh, I can click create and it develops that straight away for me. It's no longer do I have to go in and manually you put them in under each of the tabs. That wizard has done it all for me. So those wizards are definitely worth having a look at with Clicker 6. As I said, there are wizards for Clicker documents. So as I'm showing here, where you've got the, the grid down the bottom and it goes straight into a document, which you can then um, choose to save or print, whatever you like. Uh, and also there are wizards, as I said, for um, full screen grids as well. And the way that you get to those is by through make a click a set. The final thing that I want to show you today, which is one of my favourite things with Clicker 6, is this free resources tab. Now for those of you who are familiar with Clicker 5, you would have known about learninggrids.com, which is where you can access hundreds of free resources that other people have kindly shared. Um, however, in Clicker 6, they give you immediate access to these activities. And as you can see here, it takes you straight into a modified version of Learning Grids. So then if I look down um, to, for example, these categories, I'm doing something around animals it will take me straight. It's a live version of this website, but what's even better about this is if I find that activity that I think will be either good for the, people, the students that I'm working with or only need a little bit of modifying, then I can choose to run it now, which takes it immediately into my Clicker 6. No more downloading, saving it onto a place in my computer and then trying to find it and then loading it up in click of five as it was. This takes it immediately into um, a usable format uh, straight from learning grids. And it takes it straight into that activity. So I can now access all of those hundreds of free resources that are available um, much more easily uh, and in a more streamlined way. Now I know that was brief, but it, I did say it was just a sneak peek of Clicker 6. Um, feel free to contact us at Spectronics if you have further questions about Clicker 6. Um, I hope you're as excited about its release as what I am um, and can't wait to get playing with it. So we will also be doing a, an online Clicker 6, more of a 
demonstration, so more of an hour session that goes into a little bit more detail about how you develop your own activities, um, focusing more on the demonstrating of the software. Uh, but today was just a bit of a sneak peek and what are some of my favourite things. Um, if you've got some favourite things about Clicker 6, please share them with me and um, I look forward to seeing you in more online trainings. Thanks guys.